Hey Scorpios, I am back. Peace, love, light, and healing energy. This is Tasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot. 888. Eight, eight. All right, Scorpio. So I've actually already pulled some cards here. Okay. So, of course, take what resonates, leave what doesn't when it comes to the readings. All right. So we have someone here. So while I was shuffling the cards, and there was a message that flew out of the deck. Okay. This message says here, this is an energetic message from someone, okay? Sorry for the light, y'all. Hold on, let me adjust this light here. So this says here, I've been in my feelings about everything. So there is someone that's been in their feelings, Scorpio, about everything, okay? The reason why this person has been in their feelings about everything is because a lot of you guys have let go. You walked away from them, or either this person could have walked away from you. Some of you guys could have moved on. So there, someone here is definitely in their feelings about everything that has happened between you and them. Your energy was very receptive. You were very open-hearted. You were very kind, loving. You actually showed vulnerability to this person, okay? We also have here spirit. So this person has been seeing signs, synchronicities, some type of reminders, maybe seeing 1111, 222, 333, Maybe things that are reminding them of you. This can be, you know, your smell, a perfume. Uh, they may have a, something that you gave them. They may still have it, you know. But they're getting like signs about your energy. Spirit is actually communicating with this person. So that's causing them to be in their feelings. It's almost causing them to kind of like soften up. If this person was very like masculine energy, if this was a female... She started to get more soft in her energy, becoming more of her feminine energy. This person is also starting to open their heart to the signs and messages that spirit is sending to them. And it's causing them to be in their feelings about everything. All right. Bottom of the deck, we have traps and we have only you. Okay. So this person's energy is still focused on you, Scorpio. They're still attached to you, attached to your energy. They're still hypnotized by your just your energy in, in general. Their eyes are still fixated on you. And then we have trap here. So this person is in like a stuck situation. Or they're feeling trapped in their feelings and emotions. Because they are in their feelings about you here. Wow. This is like the eight of swords. They're constantly in their mind about you. Overthinking the situation. Yeah. Oh boy. Alright. So let's get into this guys. Let's see what else is going on. Of course take what resonates. Leave what doesn't okay actually i'm going to use a different deck today i'm going to pull out my tarot deck box here i know i rarely use these because they're so flimsy <laughs> but i am going to use these today all right and make sure no other cards is attached here all right all right, so you got somebody in their feelings about the whole situation between you and them, Scorpio. Yeah, someone is definitely in their feelings, and they're getting the signs. They're definitely getting the signs here. All right, spirit, angels, and guides, show me what I need to see. Tell me about, I've been in my feelings about everything. Please protect my energy as I channel the messages from the universe. Please return any dark forces, evil eye, witchcraft, anything that's not of our highest good. Me or my Scorpios and our loved ones back to its rightful owner, 10,000 souls. So, mode it be, amen and amen. Of course, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. Definitely hit the subscription button. I would love to have you a part of the Scorpio Stinker Nation. <clears throat> it doesn't matter if Scorpio is your sun, moon, rising, or Venus. The readings can resonate with you, okay? If you are returning, welcome back. As you know, it's, you know Scorpios, it's always a pleasure to have you. <laughs> Y'all know I'm silly. All right. Spirit, angels, and guys, tell me about I've been in my feelings about everything. Oh, I've been in my feelings about everything. Show me what I need to see. Oh, that is too many, Spirit. Too many. Tell me about I've been in my feelings about everything. What is it that Scorpio needs to know? All right, so we got two cards that flipped over. All right, so we have the Six of Wands. And we also have the three of pentacles. So whoever this person is, they will at this point, they're willing to do whatever it takes to get your attention again. Because they're wanting you guys to collaborate, work together in some way, shape, or form. 
hoping that you guys can reconcile tell me more tell me more about this energy spirit all right so we have the sun card so we got leo energy and we have gemini energy with the magician so hmm I feel like someone here is getting like some type of wake up call or they're starting to realize something about you that you were their light. You were their light, Scorpio, and they're willing to do whatever it takes to get your attention, kind of like waving a white flag, whatever it is. They know that you're their happiness and someone here is definitely trying to manifest this empress. They're really trying to call your energy back in. See, you are this receptive, receptive energy, male or female with the receptive. So... You have an open heart. You're beautiful inside and out. Very vulnerable, feminine energy. <clears throat> this person is missing that. They're in their feelings about you. Yeah. Yeah, you're very loving and kind. But I do realize here her cup is closed. So, Empress, Queen of Pentacles, my divine feminine. You have... Actually, I feel like you've been loving yourself. Ever since you walked away from this person, you've really been loving on you. Pouring into you. Yeah. Holding back your energy. Yeah. Because see, this is the same person on the Empress card. So you've been standing in your power. Yeah, baby. This person's been watching you. They've been watching you glow up. They've been watching you heal. They've been watching you become so vulnerable and soft and feminine for my ladies. And how you're just really loving yourself. You're really just pouring into you. Following your intuition. You are this beautiful divine feminine energy. A lot of you guys are mothers. They're watching you how strong you are, how you got over the situation. They're watching from the silence how even though they may have let go of you or you may have let go of them, they're watching how you have just gracefully just glowed up. Your energy has changed. You are like happier. You know, you're standing in your feminine energy, male or female. Yeah. Yeah. And this person wants to take a leap of faith to have a new beginning when it comes to the soulmate connection. This person feels like you are the one. But you guys are not on speaking terms right now. I feel like this person is being blocked as well. This person is being blocked because they broke your heart, Scorpio. Three of Swords. Yeah, there's some type of block in communication. Maybe this person doesn't know what to say to you. But for some reason, their, their energy is being blocked from you. And this could be because you are this Empress. So trust me, the universe is going to protect their Empress or Emperor. Someone who's very soft and vulnerable. Like you, your energy is just like beauty. You're like a dove, you know? The reason why I'm also getting that this person is being blocked away from your energy is because this is someone who doesn't know how to tell the truth. This is someone who doesn't stand in their divine masculine, divine feminine energy. Someone who has misused their power and authority. That's why they're being blocked. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Tell me about letting go, spirit, when it comes to I've been in my feelings about everything. Tell me about letting go. I've been in my feelings about everything. Hold on, y'all. Let me make some adjustments here. All right, so tell me about letting go, and I've been in my feelings about everything. Oh, okay. We have the Eight of Pentacles, and it's a reflection on the cards that you see, guys, okay? And then we also have the Page of Wands, Sagittarius Energy. So, seems like to me this person wants to communicate with you, have some type of conversation. So, someone here walked away. I don't know if it was you or this person, but someone walked away. Someone just released the twin flame connection, soulmate connection, and just move on with their life. I feel like it's more you, Scorpio. You just moved on. But now that things are over with, you guys, either one of you guys got to let go. Now this person is wanting to communicate with you about working on things. They're now wanting to put in the work, whatever they need to do to rebuild you guys' foundation. Yeah. Ten of Cups. They see you as home, family, love. You fulfill their, all of their emotions and more. Tell me more. You fulfill all of their cups. You're everything that this person could have dreamed of. Tell me about letting go. 
Oh, wow. I just heard they're coming after you. <laughs> All right. So Sagittarius energy here again. So we go from the Page of Wands to the Nine of Wands here. So it's like going from talking to, to action. So they're moving from going into just, hey, how you doing? What's going on? Can I have a conversation with you? Till now, someone is really wanting to put in the action to make this work. Yep, with this Queen of Pentacles, a divine feminine energy, this mother, goddess, someone who's disciplined, loyal, someone who holds the family down. Yeah. Tell me more, spirit. Letting go. I've been in my feelings. Oh, y'all see that, right? Thank you. Three of Wands in reverse. Communication may be blocked. Well, this is the universe blocking this person because remember, they're coming out as a page and a knight. That's not good enough for an empress. That's like your child. The universe wants this person to come correct. They need to come as a king of wands instead of this page and knight. They need to step up to the plate and be a king. So because they're in this knight of wands energy, this is like... This is like more playful energy. This is someone who's like, oh, you know, let's have a little sex. You know, let's make up. I don't know why I'm getting like this person. This could be why the universe is blocking them because maybe the universe knows that this person is not serious. They're not really ready for your type of energy because, again, you came out as very receptive, open-hearted, vulnerable. The universe is not going to let someone who has no good intentions to hurt you. They're not going to do that. They're not going to do that. I feel like the universe knows that this person is only coming in just to have sex with you, Empress. They're taking from you. They're not giving to or pouring into you. They're taking. And it may be like playful, inconsistent. I feel like the universe kind of knows also this person is not going to really be, like I said, serious. And also the fact that they're going to be inconsistent in and out of your life, not stable. Yeah. That's the case. If they're going to do that, you might as well be single, Scorpio. Keep walking. Tell me about receptive when it comes to I've been in my feelings about everything. I feel like this person's thinking more thinking about more sexual energy with you. I don't know if they think that if they give you a little bit of sex, that after that you guys may want to work things out. I don't know. We got the high priestess. Mm -hmm. Some of you guys can be a tarot reader. You may be a healer. Clair audience, clairvoyance. You have a very close connection with the universe. This is why you are very vulnerable, open-hearted. You're receptive. You're not someone who's closed off to things. You're very receptive to the energies that's around you. You're open to... This is like you're in a line with your higher self. You're in a line with your heart chakra. Your heart chakra is very open right now. And that's why you're being highly protected by the universe. All right, tell me more. A lot of you guys could be... Um, giving this person the silent treatment as well because you know you're in a vulnerable state in your life. Your feelings and emotions are very vulnerable right now. All right, so we got the lovers here. And we have, wow, yeah, two of pentacles here. Sorry for the reflection, y'all. Two of pentacles. Yeah. It's almost like spirit knows that this person is all they're going to do is play with your feelings. Again, it's going to be like wishy-washy, in and out. It's not going to be anything solid here. But I also feel as though you guys are choosing to be solid with the lover's card. It's like, even though the lover's does talk about twin flame, it also talks about making a choice. But with this, I feel like you're choosing to stay quiet. You're choosing to remain solid and stand in your power. Because you don't know exactly how to feel. You don't want your energy or feelings to be played with. Yeah. Yeah. The star and the reverse. You don't like the fact that this person played with your heart. Played with your vulnerability. When you were open to receive, they didn't do that for you. This is like someone who played with you at a time that you really was in the energy of, I'm ready to love. I'm ready to really pour my heart and feelings into this situation. And you're not taking me seriously. So at this point, I've lost faith and hope that this will ever be equally give and take like you won't be equally yoked to me yeah it's so confusing i feel like i heard you guys say it's so confusing with the seven of cups yeah yeah this person really broke your heart scorpio yeah there's a lot of pain here nine of swords and the three of swords here 
there's a lot of pain, hurt, sorrow behind this. You don't know how to feel about this person. One minute they love you, the next minute they don't. I feel like also you don't know how to feel about them either. It's like, you know, you want to open up to them, but then you don't. So you'd rather just stay quiet. Yeah. One more. Receptive. Tell me more. Receptive. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Spirit said that's the truth. Ace of Swords. And then we also have here the Nine of Cups. It's coming out kind of crossing. Hmm. What I'll do is take this crossing because it came out like this. Kind of like twisted. So it's like in between. So Nine of Cups is actually coming out crossing. And then, of course, the Ace of Swords here. Yeah. So... Yeah, you don't know how to feel about this person. You don't know whether you should give to them or not, whether you should just completely pull back. You don't know what to do. But one thing I can say, you definitely have the truth and clarity that you need from the Most High that you need to just, just remain quiet. You don't know how to feel. It's almost like they make you happy, but then they don't. You feel emotionally fulfilled, but then you don't. That's why it's that wishy-washy energy that two of us was like, I don't know. Should I open up? Should I not? Should I stay closed off? You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to just be quiet. I'm going to just be quiet. And I'm going to let them do all the talking. Eight of swords. Excuse me. Eight of wands. I'm going to just let them do all the talking because I'm tired. This shit is too much for me. It's too much. Yeah. All right, tell me about spirit when it comes to I've been in my feelings about everything. So I'm getting this person, yeah, like a Sagittarius energy. Well, it could be other fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sag. I do see Gemini here. Scorpio, you're coming out as this Pisces energy with the High Priestess. Mm, yeah, I see Gemini here twice. Okay. So, yeah. Tell me about spirit when it comes to I've been in my feelings about everything. And of course, guys, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, okay? Show me what I need to see for my Scorpios. Tell me about spirit. And I've been in my feelings about everything. Thank you. All right. Three of Cups. Spirit has been showing this person signs and synchronicities. Oh, I feel like spirit is communicating with this person. Okay, sir, ma'am, if you're in your feelings, go for it. Connect with Scorpio. Reconcile with him. It's almost like spirit is giving them signs to go and reconcile with this empress, this high priestess. They're open. They're receptive. They're vulnerable. But you got to make them feel comfortable. This is someone who possibly goes to you, Scorpio, for some of you. The hermit, Virgo energy. Hmm. I'm also getting spirit is giving this person signs. Some type of reminder. Like I said, they may be getting like reminders of you or some type of signal that they're getting from spirit that they need to do the inner work before they talk about reconciling. They need to really do some deep introspection. Excuse me. They need to really sit with themselves, understand who they are, and go through the healing journey, go through the dark night of the soul as well. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. If they want another opportunity with you, Ace of Pentacles. What's the final message, Spirit? Tell me more, Spirit. When it comes to, I've been in my feelings about everything. Tell me more. Oh, that's too many. That's too many. That's too many. All right. Give me the final two. So, y'all yeah, getting Gemini, Sagittarius, Leo, Pisces. Yeah. And Virgo. Thank you. Yep, Leo energy here with the strength card. It's like Spirit is telling this person also, you know what, if you're in your feelings about getting back together with Scorpio, I'm going to need you to gather the strength and courage. We need you to tap into your solar plexus chakra. We need you to believe in yourself, okay? Okay. We don't need you to doubt that Scorpio may reject you. You just need to go for it. Gather the strength and courage to do so. Okay? 
you know, get out of your pride and ego. And if you're wanting to reconcile with Scorpio, we're giving you the signs. This relationship is protected. One more. Thank you. <laughs> Scorpio. Y'all be mean. Queen of Swords. Looks <sighs> like the bottom. Ten of Cups. Ooh, double tens here. Ten of Pentacles in reverse and the Ten of Cups. Sorry for the reflector. And the Five of Swords. And the Knight of Pentacles. That's okay. This makes sense. This is why this person could be moving very slowly to come towards your Scorpio. I don't know. They got something up their sleeve. But I'm telling you why I feel like this person just want to have sex with you, Empress. The Empress and the Ace of Wands. I just feel like this person is going to try to do something. Say something. Because their goal is to have a new passionate beginning. But it seems like it's something sexual here. Be careful because this person may try to get you pregnant, Scorpio. But what I see with that Queen of Swords here, you got your back turned towards the strength card. So I feel like this could be why this person may not have made a move yet because you've already set some very strong boundaries. And I feel like you're doing this because you feel like this person is going to come in and play some type of game. Like you're not sure how to receive this person because you feel like they're moving so like they got something up their sleeve. This is why you don't you do not want to have anything solid with them like you don't know their energy you feel like they really have nothing to offer you but games and mind games and heartbreak and what you want is a family you want something solid stable happy you're blocking this off you don't want any relationship you don't want to build a house car have anything attached to this person because you feel like they have nothing to offer but again for some of you this person could have ghosted you and you have your guards up you could be in the strength energy where you are very powerful at this moment standing in your power and protecting your energy from this person because they ghosted you for some of you you know for others of you, you just want to be left alone by this person but they're definitely in their feelings about everything they're in their feelings to the fact that you are guarded right now you're holding back your energy they want to reconcile but it's like they're trying to gather up that courage to do so but they know how you are scorpio your back is turned your back is turned. That's why they feel trapped. They're trapped in their mind. They don't know what to think or to do. They don't. They don't. At all. Alright, Scorpios. This is what I have. Thank you so much for joining me in this reading. I appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. Comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.